Now we shall take up the third problem. A rectangular concrete beam of cross section 150 by 300 mm is simply supported over a span of 6 meter. It is pre-stressed by a symmetric parabolic cable at a distance of 120 mm from bottom fiber at support and at a distance of 60 mm from bottom fiber at mid span. Initial pre-stress in cable is 300 kN. Determine maximum deflection of the beam at center. Second one, central concentrated force to be applied to nullify the above deflection. Take unit weight of concrete as 25 kN per meter square. Young's modulus of concrete as 3.8 into 10 raised to 4 Newton per millimeter square. So this is the given problem. Coming to the solution, first we need to write down the cable profile as per the given data. So the cross sectional dimension is 150 by 300 mm, span is 6 meter, span is 6 meter. The cable profile, again we need to read the data, it is pre-stressed by a symmetric parabolic cable at a distance of 120 mm from bottom fiber at the support, means from the bottom of the beam. It is located at a distance of 120 mm from the bottom of the beam at the supports means from bottom it is located at a distance of 120 mm. Now the deflection sorry now the eccentricity at the support will be equal to 30 mm that is E2 is equal to 30 mm E2 is equal to 30 mm and it is also given in the data please go through that at the support and at a distance of 60 mm from bottom fiber at the mid span at the mid span also it is located at a distance of 60 mm from the bottom fiber now the remaining height will be equal to the eccentricity at the mid span total it will be 150 150 minus 60 is equal to 90 mm now eccentricity at the mid span that is e1 is equal to 90 mm E1 is equal to 90 mm and E2 is equal to 30 mm. Span is 6 meter. In this problem, we are told to calculate the deflection due to dead load and deflection due to P and E. And in the second sub question, we are told to calculate the quantity of the load required to nullify the deflection. We shall take it later. First, we shall compute the deflection due to dead load. Deflection is given by 5 by 384. W L raised to 4 by E I. W is equal to density of the concrete into area of the concrete. Density 25 into cross sectional area 0 0.15 into 0 0.3. 150 mm by 300 mm. It will be equal to 1.125 kilo Newton per meter which is equal to 1.125 Newton per millimeter. We have calculated the intensity of the dead load. Span is 6 meter 6000 all raised to 4 divided by Young's modulus of the concrete. Young's modulus of the concrete it is given in a data 3.8 into 10 raised to 4. Moment of inertia it is a rectangular cross section. Moment of inertia is given by B D Q by 12. B is 150 mm. Depth of the beam 300 mm. B D Q by 12 which is equal to 337.5 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. Now substituting all the values in the formula delta is equal to 5 by 384 into intensity of the dead load 1.125 newton per millimeter span of the beam l raised to 4 l is 6 meter that is 6000 mm all raised to 4 divided by ei e Young's modulus of the concrete 3.8 into 10 raised to 4 into moment of inertia 337.5 into 10 raised to 6 which is equal to 1.48 mm since the deflection due to dead load will be in the downward direction, we have to take it as positive. In the same way, based on the cable profile, we need to choose the formula to calculate the deflection due to P and E. That is, deflection is given by delta is equal to 1 by 48 P L square by E I into E2 plus 5 E1. E2 plus 5 E1. E2 is eccentricity at the supports. E1 is eccentricity at the mid span which is equal to pre-stressing force in the cable P is 300 kN 300 into 10 raised to 3 into L raise into L square L is 6 meter 6000 millimeter square 
into E2 eccentricity at the supports it is 30 mm plus 5 into E1 eccentricity at the mid span it is 90 mm all divided by 48 E into I on simplification we get the deflection as minus 8.42 mm minus 8.42 mm this deflection due to P and E will be acting in the downward upward direction hence we have to take this deflection due to P and E as negative now we need to compute the central concentrated load in order to nullify these two deflections first we need to compute the net deflection due to dead load and P and E that is 1.48 minus 8.42 it will be equal to 6.94 mm the net deflection is equal to 6.94 mm how to get the net deflection means deflection due to dead load plus deflection due to P and E 1.48 minus 8.42 which is equal to 6.94 now we need to compute the intensity of the point load such that it will going to nullify the deflection due to dead load and P and E I have written this with the upward mark because the net deflection is in upward direction again because minus 8.42 plus 1.48 means it is minus 6.94 minus 6.94 means it is upward in direction minus 6.94 ends above the neutral axis I have written in the arguing position minus 6.94 now we need to place a concentrated load at the mid span such that that quantity of the force we are going to fix will going to nullify the net deflection net deflection means the deflection should be equal to zero again in the first tutorial we have calculated the deflection formula due to P and E in case of the live load that is 1 by 48 into WL cube by EI now deflection I will going to substitute it as 6.94 which is equal to 1 by 48 into WL cube W we need to calculate that L 6000 millimeter 6000 cube divided by EI Young's modulus of the concrete into moment of inertia of the section on simplification we get the intensity of dead sorry intensity of the live load as 19.8 kilo newton suppose if this quantity of live load is placed at the mid span as a concentrated load then this net upward deflection will be equal to zero because if we place the concentrated load it will go into cause the downward deflection the quantity of the downward deflection will be equal to 6.94 hence the net deflection will be equal to zero when if we substitute or if we calculate the point load as 19.8 mm and it is to be placed at the mid span